everyone, my name is Jim, and here we are back with The Stanley Parable 2. I suppose I could allow <laughs> only people named Jim to play The Stanley Parable oh, 2. Oh, oh yes. That actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Okay, I'm starting my intro, but okay, fine. Well, guess what? I truly embodied Jim, okay? I mean, look, that's Jim! The button that says Jim! Wait, oh my god, that's a change. You heard Jim in the game. Amazing. Taste the sequel. Well, I'll say this, a Stanley Parable 2 um, uh, is the greatest prequel sequel in midquel, if that's even a thing, is truly magnificent. This game so far gives me a 3, I'll give a 3.5 out of 5. That will only go up higher if you show me the greatest things of your all time. The insurance bucket, there's more all down here. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so cool. There's so much stuff here. I was expecting to notice, like they just add more choices along the way for the endings, but no, I've been so pleasantly surprised. Oh my gosh, the merch. Oh my gosh. Oh, my favorite there is the big, big red number two right there. Oh my, please no screenshots. Oh my god. You can only be- I'm waiting for, like, you can only be this tall, Stanley, to ride. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I Ooh, think nice that artwork. in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. I would But I I've like undecided balloons. on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? Oh. Uh, happy to get well someday. <laughs> happy 12th birthday, Stepneys. <laughs> Stepneys. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person... Oh, come on! You realize ...that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. How get could well you? someday it is. No! No, Stepneys. Oh, Maybe I should have gone with... No. Choose it. No, I no. made my decision. My, when moving my on. decision. Do you Come want me to give this a positive review on Steam? It's true. That in the magazines. Badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. I will meet every single Jim I've ever met and known in my tired life to give you a bad review in this game. You value Jims. I know you do. I will get them to sue your teams just for this blame slander. Ugh. Fine then. What else do you have? Oh my god, the jump circle's back. Wow, it's absolutely new content. What? Let's bring the <gasps> jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. Yes. Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time. No, we I haven't. No, 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 no. Mm. Oh, well. No, no. I suppose it can no. just be a nice decorative piece no. then. <sighs> do you want the star rating to go up by, by 0. 0.1 stars? Yes, yeah, so I thought. Sell me on it. <laughs> That's new. Wow, we it sure is. Wait, what is that silhouette? Huh. Is that the woman from the other ending? I like how I immediately got that ending, and then the true ending, and then she starts to his collectibles. Or like, do the endings like the collectibles you get like from the all different endings show up here more? Oh, and that's a nice looking Stanley Jim right there. Expo Hall 2 guide, the jump circle's right there. You are here. There's the jump circle. This map. <laughs> Free achievement queue. Okay, uh, this queue's out of bounds. <laughs> it's out of bounds. Oh my. It should be. It's like. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's still out of bounds, but the button that says the name of the player that's playing the game. Yes, we heard that. Jim. Merch settings world champion. The Stanley Parable will be your assurance bucket. Oh, that's definitely in the list. I've heard. I heard quite a bit of bucket. I can like. I can only imagine it gives the most grandest, greatest of reassurances. Office decorations. Uh, yes, I've seen that terrible travesty of decorations that you never even thought to give me consideration for choosing. Epilogue, collectibles, infinite hole, and exit. So epilogue and exit, two separate things. And the exit's over there. Huh. Let me go to the exit last, but collectibles, exit, jump circle, an infinite hole. It would never end. That's always the way you know how a game is good. When the game never this never ends. Stanley Parable 2. I want achievement. Get yours now. Pull rubber. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Get yours right now today. 
if I get that Shino right now, then... Now, here's yeah. something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Uh, well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Oh my gosh, you made yes. a breakthrough. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, oh, the nope. achievement will... Yes. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. What? Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. What? No. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. Do it I faster. guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. No. To at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous... I'm a ravenous fan right now. Now, you set Jim. Uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Mm. No. I need it. 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 I need it now. <laughs> Fine. What a cheapskate. The, the, you, it, this has now gone to 3.4 stars out of 10. Okay, let's see what else? here. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? The Infinite Hole. And, uh, uh, giant, uh, Stanley, your collectibles are there. Were there collectibles of Stanley in the merch section? Because of Nart, then I'm, uh, you're not giving him the due credit. Not giving us the view credit. Time, de distance, space, time, space, like infinity. You created a whole sign just for an infinite hole? Rim, surrounding area, depth, infinite. Okay, surrounding area. Uh, yes, thank you for the obvious. Hole entrance, infinity. Well, let's be like portal. We just stay in there forever. Infinite hole chart, depth, space, question mark, science, more. Infinity, Falling for educational use only. Oh, this is a gotta see. It just keeps going like a little spiral, a little loop de loop there. I want to go through the loop. I just Stanley, do. here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. What is that? This is in fact a hole that you can fall down for. Well, I mean there's a portal can do that too. But it's not really a hole, is it? It's a portal. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for uh, video games oh. as a medium. Oh my gosh, this truly would make the Stanley Parable sequel to the grandest experience ever. I'm liking your style. There's no door for me to close this on. You know what? Geronimo! Goodbye, world! You see, isn't it wonderful? Very One much of my so. More ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Can barely now then, still see the light. Since you've gotten to see the infinite hole. You can press the teleport button to pop back That's up That's not the infinite top, enough. And we can continue onward. Nah, I want to see how, like, what's the ending to mm. this infinite hole. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Why? Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. I want to see what's the bottom of the hole. I want to see more hole at the bottom. Oh my gosh, can we see it just go I vanish? I quite how to say this tactfully, <laughs> but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Slightly? Is it a very, very deep hole? Ah. Uh, I'm certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Oh. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. I want to wait till that thing goes and just goes infinite? blank. Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. It goes through the other side. The infinite what? is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the <laughs> Well, it's not infinite. 3.3 3 stars. Out, Stanley, I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. <sighs> Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated oh, by... Oh, criticizing me? 3.2. The normal person actually wants to fall infinitely. I figured the hole I'm was not as deep person. as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Oh, you're the one who made this. Two Look, stars. Uh, got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Oh, I meant it. Why Two stars. We just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole <laughs> most every pause button infinite. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole, and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. <sighs> Fine, then you lied to me. You're gonna lie to many people who actually get this in the sequel. Ugh, God. From management to everyone, uh, to me, meeting at 2 p.m. Sincerely, management. Ugh. Well, since you've been so nice about it, 2.1. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, this is so great so far. I'm glad the humor is still here. 
mostly inf oh that's now oh every single attraction now is gonna be slightly different now because your ideas aren't worked out you don't have enough budget for them okay what have we not seen here so far we've not seen settings world champion that should be to the left of us out there and oh yeah the reassurance bucket backwards too i think it should be in here no huh it should be right there do we look at this no Spilled over mugs. The pun that says the name of the player you're saying. New features, new content, new ideas. Consistent quality with just the right amount to change. All red. The baby's all grown up. Oh my gosh, she has grown up. Oh, uh, that ending was honestly just hilarious. You just like press the button and like manage to do the whole mini game for like four hours straight. You get just a the enlightenment ending. That was honestly perfect. Nine nine nine, you say. What is that beeping? Red is the new orange. The new update of Ray Trace, more of the same, but in a good way. Sequel to the... Sequel to the what? A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. Hi there, Stool. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Oh, you sure well, got that right. I'm happy it's to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem. Is it a bucket? It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Oh my. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. Is it, oh, it's on a wire. So I was like, the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly <sighs> normal and perhaps even comforting. I'm already at peace. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. I'm already and feeling you're ready. Honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Oh, definitely. Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. You should include the bucket from the come beginning of the office. Give it a try. <gasps> Will it's become a 4.0 game? <laughs> What? How dare you? Can you feel it? Yes. The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must yes. already be sweeping through your body. And in Immensely. Fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an Thank air of you. charisma as well? <laughs> I think that just holding it has made you the slightest Okay, I can went a bit too far. 3.9. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more. Await you in the Stanley Parable too. Will it be a reassurance, reassurance tub? Ooh, nice. We can just carry the bucket around. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. I'm already feeling the sense of ease. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video? Game? Oh yeah, the bucket awards. That really should be an award if it isn't already. Go to bucketawards.com. And put your nomination in today. What's up here? This is this is something completely different. Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Whoa! Collect them all. Collect what? This is a collectible. So, whoa! Ah, collectible. Whoa! Now it's a real. Oh, this is the bridge from the Gears Guide. Parable two, huh. You'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Huh. And what's truly innovative? Is that there will be no reward for collecting all of As it be a true I game. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. <laughs> you simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. That's the spirit. How many of these figurines are there? See, even just the souls of the underworld want them so badly. So much. <laughs> oh my... Oh my god, are those now sprinkled everywhere? Well, now I go go and see past content now. God, you see, it this really is, is the worst when you collect everything in a video game, and then they give you a big fancy reward <sighs> for it. Absolutely tragic. Like a big trophy at the end? Oh, I just want the, just want the feeling of numbers going up. Ugh. Terrible. Were all those collectibles anywhere else in here? I'll probably just go... I want to go to a new attraction to see if there's anything new then. Those collectibles now everywhere. Is there one behind the merch counter? New content, the compendium. 
Ooh. I kept myself so spoiler free from just going and watching the people play this game, and right now it's come all coming to worth it. Oh boy. I'm just, just, oh. Now that I'm thinking about it, whoever, like, whoever's name is Jim going through this, they must have a great time going through this. <laughs> I must feel about a bit weird that I'm, uh, that I pretend to be another Jim. I guess they're not the Jim enough for the Jimny Jim Jim. Okay, we got collectibles, the infinite hole, which is not infinite. They even changed this here. This map for achievement, merch settings, world champion. Settings, world champion. I'll just check out. Huh. Don't tell me that's everything. Dang, your pitch. There's quite a lot of good stuff in here, but I'm, uh. Needs more bucket. Huh. Where is the epilogue on here then? Oh, huh. It's right behind here, actually. Can't go through in here. We can't get on top of this bridge. But it says it should be here, the epilogue, anyway. Oh, right here. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes. Oh, we get rid yes, of all the we'll cannon, at the end of the, um, uh, Well, we'll <laughs> figure that out later. <laughs> oh my gosh. Out of that one specific ending. Oh, I still remember, like, seeing you in review of this game and just, like, how's those, like, one ending? Just, like, what was that? Where about Stanley just, like, you just, like, you stop controlling Stanley in general, just, like, watching him, like, just not choose anything from, like, for hours on end. I forget how you get to that. I think it's the the botch confusion ending. Yeah. It leads to that. Like, yeah. Oh, God. And when the credits started rolling for that, so many people got confused. I think the creators even said, like, they wish they didn't put the credits there because it made it seem like there was the official ending. Which, it definitely wasn't meant to be. And the thing it took, you take out of it was, uh, I think, depressing. I can't remember the ending that put on my head, but I, that's what I keep hearing people say. I think even the creators themselves mentioned it. I know David Reed mainly wrote this game, but did he mainly write the original? Huh. Oh, the Settings World Champion is up here. Aw, nothing. Okay, fine. Oh, for heaven. Yes. You see? I need to I go down. Right. The problem is you. I needed it. The, problem is that the bucket will like protect me. Too much. Not normal. The holes. Normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but oh. you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh, that was even shorter now. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Oh, this is I couldn't is help new. but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, Ooh. admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. The infinite hole is coming back to bite you. Not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. But where's the joy in that? Okay, I'm just going to stay right here with my joyful... Gleeful Mr. Bucket. Any minute now. Any minute now, the bucket will give me strength. Any minute now. All my woes, sins, and worries will be washed away by this bucket. Oh, it's down there for years. Be thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about. Oh, really? What else the is there? For a lifetime. Okay, so what else is new? Like, can you tell me anything more about? Ha! Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. Yes. If this starts to become a thing, with Yep, it's wow. getting shorter. Okay. Yeah. We can close the infinite hole forever. I'm becoming extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by <laughs> the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Oh, I like this experimentation. Are you seeing a, a flaw in your own environmental well, ways? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> my liars come to haunt me. Exactly. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I 
I know you're obsessed with holes. Well, give me a bucket with a big depth, hole on top. I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, it does. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it ah, is yes. you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Because I can't jump out of here. <laughs> I can't. I'm pressing hmm. G. <laughs> is the um, teleport button not working? Nope. You I'm sure? stuck here forever. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. The whole infant hole is coming to bite you. Try it again. Click. Click, click, click. Still nothing. Well, I suppose... I uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Make stairs. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. No. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it. If you, you give me this proper way out and it's give me proper time, the hole and give you ten, you like a hundred stars. Hole, I get to do literally anything else. Oh. Take care, Stanley. I, I hope you <laughs> and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Oh come on! I wanted to help play test your pitch for your new game, and this is what you get from me. Uh, I'm already feeling the existential dread trip kicking in. Bucket, grip to me tighter, please. Oh no, please, no, teleport me out of here. I had enough of a hole for a lifetime, please. Please, no, no. I'm gonna be stuck down here forever. Oh no, no, no. Mr. Raymer, help me. I I'm sinking. This is my life now. I was too enthralled and greedy by the, the hole. Junji Ito should have taught me this, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't stay away. It was too enticing. I just couldn't leave well enough alone. This is all I have left in this world. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why is this so cinematic? <laughs> That's what Stanley looks like. Oh my god. Change your perce perception. What? <laughs> Why is this here? <laughs> It's literally just perception just changing the tone of the scene itself. What is this music? Oh. Change your reality. This just looks like a beginning of a music video. Wow. <laughs> Okay, the spotlights. Uh, okay, so the H one goes to spotlight. Pinkish. Nice. This is. Well, this is certainly experience. Wow. Wait. Is he a cyborg now? 427 on an outer space mission into deep recesses of, of hell and Mars itself. Wait, did you turn to helium tanks? Wait, no. What? <laughs> oh my. Well, if the infinite, ho infinite hole was not infinite before, it's simply turning into it now. Car Stanley? Help me! I've been turning. Uh, uh, oh, good, you're awake. Uh, it seems you had sort of dozed off there. Drifting away into dreamland, uh, but we can't have that, Stanley, uh, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. I you don't I have miss a single moment. Thank you. So I was having a nightmare. I, just I had to push the hole more. Time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole. Oh. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Glad you're thinking Stay the same alert, way. Stanley. Oh. I'll be back. My only friend is a bucket, and the, my other friend betrayed me several times. Oh god, well, I'm already going back to the daydream now itself. What? Oh, that was an ending? 
<laughs> that was a way to end things off. Okay, that's Here an infinite hole ending. On. Try out some of the new features. Wait, does that mean there's the actual endings for each of these different locations then? Ooh. Let me see if there's anything with the Jimbo button. Jimbo. That door doesn't work. Nope. Nada. What does this say? Name. Here, yours today. Okay, thank you. Still not here. I can't experience the glory of Jim Bun. Ah, uh, absolutely sad. I had so much glory and power. I can never wield it again. Uh. Oh, okay, we can go into chair. Chair time. If you think about it, the bucket really is an infinite hole if you think about it too much. It just only has one hole at the very top. And if you stick your hand in into the deep recesses, you never feel the bottom when you, reach, when you come back out. Your hand just being engulfed, swallowed by the bucket void. Which is quite reassuring for your best friend to do that to you. Still can't go into here. Why was there an attraction setting for it from the map then? Settings World Champion. Wait, do we have to literally go to settings then? Can we go to settings then? Settings warrior. No. No, there's nothing. Settings world champion. Unless we had to change things so rapidly over and over again. Huh. Which I don't feel like doing right now. Well, I think that's everything then, right? Mostly infinite hole. Hmm. Huh. Everything seems to be almost completely done. That's the guide. So what happens when you go to the exit then? Well, you finished giving me all the details of your pitch, so... Just give me the old finished and closing right. lines. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready yeah. to move on now? Yes. Exactly. I have my bucket on hand. I've experienced the whole... I am ready to go. Ooh. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? I yes, think I a second bucket exactly work. It's not clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one <laughs> single coherent video game, You'll manage. I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. It There's will. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, oh. and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Immediately. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Practice me. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> um uh, well, um, I mean there's potential here, right? It's there it's sort of Okay, never mind. It will innovate Hold on. the Let me do a different video game industry. Oh okay. yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. This so you move the pace there, better, then here. And then grand there. Version 2. 2.0. <laughs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? <gasps> Clickable. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Not really. I wanted more than substance. anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted hmm. fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. So you gotta make they sure they have some structure to stand on. Of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take Whoa. the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. Like chef's With kiss. Respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Nah. Would it possibly work? Nah. I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. So a large a screen. screen. screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Just be the two bigger than the actual plug itself. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh. We're actually playing the prototype? Whoa. Okay, I'll be honest, this is a good little prototype main menu, but is there actually any substances actual, um, uh, game? 
God, the the wall, the hallways spinning around. Oh my, just whoa, just getting dizzy into it. We're going back to the theater. This is the story of a man no. named Stanley. I know you can do this narrator. You can do great. Stanley worked for a company <laughs> like Big Boy, the balloons where he are was here. Employee number four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. Pressing he the good old his ones. Desk in room four two seven, and he pushed buttons on F the U Orders C through a T the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is 1. what employee 8. 427 did every day. That should have been version 2.0 to go day. with the game vision. And although others might Back to the theme. It so winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Hmm. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Someone popped something on my balloons. Something that would forever change Stanley. <laughs> Two. Something he would never so quite distracting forget. here. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Two hours. And he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for Make him sure to follow. it actually like, no takes place on a February 2nd in 2,222. Two. Well, something. This, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable oh to move for the longest time. But as oh, he came to his wits and big restart. His senses, <laughs> he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Do we have one of our own balloons? Oh my god, the co-workers here are terrible. We don't even have our get well balloon here. Literally, literally everyone else gets them except for me. God, they really must have hated me. Why should I care that like, they vanished? All of his really, every single gone. one. Oh. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. Oh! You'll be my bestest buddy here, and what are you doing here? Huh. Oh my god, well, bucket I can throw at the possible enemies I can make Stanley here. Stanley clutched the bucket. Oh, yes. Chest. And entered the door on his left. You truly are catering to gamers. <laughs> truly are. Inspirational. I'll follow along. Along your whims. <laughs> truly an inspiration to us all. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort <laughs> now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh god, is something different gonna happen with the bucket in every single ending? Oh my god. I have to. I have to see. I have to see. Can Good I put the bucket Stanley. in here? Can you feel it? Yes. The broom closet. It wants the <gasps> No! Bucket. No! You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? No. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it no. deserves no. the bucket. No. I can really feel no. it. No. Bucket. It's a You're my only friend here. It belongs in a broom closet. No. That's what the broom closet is trying no. to say. No. Only yeah. brooms belong the closet. To the no. Coming to a staircase. No. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. We are never parting the bucket. We're never parting it from it. Never parting from them. Never. Absolutely never. No way. No, sir. Oh. You think I'm gonna leave him behind for Stepping one second? To his manager's office, no. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What other features gonna come in here? The weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional <laughs> dumpster fire, if not for the soothing. Oh my God! Even Thank now, you, buddy. In his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding <laughs> light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and immensely? Chaos. It would be with him always, forever. The bucket would. And he knew it. Don't betray the me. Two of them were inseparable. Best buddies ever since point, we got hired here. Was so absorbed in the tender spiritual <laughs> connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Uh. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was two eight four five. Wait, was that Mr. Bucket? You want me to the keypad on the wall? I, oh my gosh, I didn't notice that. What you say the code was? Uh, two, uh. Eight, four. Yes, okay, four and Stanley five. Sat around twiddling his thumbs, but <laughs> Stanley guessed the oh my gosh, Mister I followed your advice, and this happened. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Oh my gosh, it was. Yes. Thank you, buddy. This is certainly the most logical explanation. You're telling me. 
Thank you so much. <gasps> Collectible. You found one of them. <laughs> one of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Why well, I want them. the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Exactly. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So you don't have a lot of money for it, though. To savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Oh, I already am with Bucket. He's helping me just get through these trying times. Okay, Mr. Bucket. We're just gonna go through the most trying time of my own natural life. I need you there to experience it with me. I may not remember have all the memories to fully process process the trauma I endured down here, but I know with you by my side, I'll get through anything. The elevator raced downward, <laughs> plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. It will be. Everything's always better. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind what? Control Wait, what's Facility. That? What's that, Mr. Bucket? You want me to go down to escape? But, but buddy, we, we can't do that. I mean, he... I mean, Mr. Narrator got us all together in all this at this point. He he bonded us together by this point. Shouldn't we listen to him at least this once? No? You don't think we should? Oh, I, oh I, I'm so sorry, Mr. Narrator, but I, this bond is too strong. I have to listen to Mr. Bucket, okay? I just have to. Had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. Uh, not Mr. Bucket, no. No, you're just lying to me. No, you gotta be lying. You have to be lying. The door behind them was not shut. He would not tear Stanley this bond from us. Mr. Bucket led me down his way. He would never lead me astray. Back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. You will never stop me. Oh, but it's missing. Are you sure about this, Mr. Bucket? Okay. Okay, I hear you. Let's go. We'll go through all we through, thick and thin. Hmm? Oh boy, we're in a, we're in a bit of a pickle right now, Mr. Bucket. Emotion, and Stanley and the Bucket inch closer <laughs> to their demise. Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's what? warmth and comfort How had dare you! To be. to be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the Bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? <laughs> this is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting <laughs> so much time carrying no, the Bucket No, it was never. I would never kick the Bucket. Well, Stanley. No, you you never lead me astray, Mr. Bucket, right? Please. Farewell, Stanley. Cried the. Oh, I'm glad this hasn't changed Stanley at all. Stanley and the Bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the Bucket's life came to no. an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Hmm. <laughs> Is it like just all the same endings, just with the newest stuff involved? It was a shame, wow. The death of such a magnificent bucket. I'm glad you're the only it's one who truly that understands. All buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Mr. Bucket. The bucket. Ah, uh, it's a true memorial. Welcome to the Grand Exhibit. You're standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within, a cavernous void, but through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you set with an open mind about what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourselves and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were, in ignorance and darkness? Yes. But as a final parting farewell to Mr. Bucket and our own death, I will listen to his Can final words. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this? And to claim it for his own. Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Uh, 
you're right. I, I've been so selfish. I've just been taking it on my own whims. He, he was so noble. He never wanted to be. He never wanted to say no to me. We never left each other's side after we first met. But I've been holding him back. You're right. My hubris. The Inferno Bucket, a replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was powerfully alluring that drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, yet in spite of it all, the civil remains. No one can control Bucket. They are truly gods among us all. We celebrate them for their service. The Stress Bucket Analogy. Warning, negative forecasting, negative thinking. Without commentary. The stress, the level of water in the bucket, rest and relaxation do something you enjoy. Coping strategies holes. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh my. And if you have infinite holes, you have infinite stress and infinite relaxation at the same time. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad they took the bucket joke just as far. <laughs> oh my. Cave drawing. While you know the buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long this cave drawing depicts early man's discovery, the practical use of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Like I said, they're gods. Notice in these drawings that the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. And by that logic, we thank them. Going against the bucket is no blasphemy. Man can own a bucket. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. Mm -hmm. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Almighty hang the bucket. The hanging bucket. This peace and bliss and necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear or grasp the bucket may be, there is yet more that's always out of reach. This distance inevitably is for our own good. But I want to worship the bucket more clearly. No! Ah! Ah! Am I... But oh there my is God. something we can do. Something we really? can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. What is that? Let Stanley die. Let oh. him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. What? Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets oh. from their treatment as tools and implements if only we yes. let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler. As ruler? Leader, as commander. Wait, wait. When Mr. Bucket dies? Really? <laughs> God, I love how insane this game gets. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that was a bucket ending for you right there. All his co workers uh, were gone. Whoa. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I'm sorry. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Not this time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, huh. he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley. How different is everything well. then outside Perhaps of this, he though? He wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just nope. to admire it. The Easter egg should usually go through there. Wow. Yes. This room. This room. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful room. Yes, okay. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. How different is the games? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. How different is everything by now? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong <gasps> Oh, there was a thing right there! Oh, collectible! Nope, I had to go back to him. I just have to. But where does that door lead to, then? Okay, that goes there. I'm not even listening to you. Nah. Really? Ha! in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? You already got Mr. Why, me Mr. Bucket killed last time. I'm not going to let him go into this really fate by now. I want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your <gasps> side. Collectible. Give me a chance. Uh, Another miniature stand is Yes! Team. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What a stand. Mini stand. The air's on my army track. Things. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes. No. I think I like that. Stanlerines now. Stanlerine under your belt. Oh, I got them as machine gun ammunition accessory then. Now listen carefully. Nice. This is imp it's incredible. He wasn't fired years ago. There we go. Yes. Ah. Yes. Okay. Got to balance carefully. Collectible. You are mine. 
I don't care if it's pointless. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figlies. <laughs> Stanlerines are terrible. Torn between Stanlerines and figlies. Figlies are great. Stanley? What figlies. name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Numberlies. I'm sure it will come to me. <laughs> you know, I could jump off here and die, but I'm, uh... What's the vent? Oh. Down we go. Whoa. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to draw so far off the beaten path Whoa. that it seemed the office had begun to draw so far off the beaten path Whoa. that it seemed the office had begun to draw so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office I had knew it was all fake. So far off the beaten path Whoa. that it seemed the office had begun You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? Yeah, maybe. What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. Well, you're not very talkative back to me. You talk about yourself and rambling. Head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet yes. each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must be pretty absolutely well. bolt off the couch in pure shock oh. at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It well, I am an English so major, so obviously new. everything I life and an it does that where everything's fake. Yes. of surprises yes. and delights. Oh. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. I'm very easily amused. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god, I made you sad, so you just boot me back here. Nice, nice. <laughs> Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Where? Are these assassins finally after me? They are, aren't they? Uh-uh. Ah. Can we get that glitch? That glitch ending somewhere here. Oh, yes, we can. There we are. Okay, is this different At now? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard nope. this narration and realized <laughs> it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> he then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, uh, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? What a great big straw. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? No. Yeah. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this hmm. to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Yeah, but I'll probably do it. I've taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially <laughs> to fit that answer. Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Yeah, there's that. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? Hmm. How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, I need 100% for Perhaps all five figurines. Option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on the <laughs> first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Oh, how dare you. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Yes. No. Definitely coming back. Ooh, this is all do now. Buckets, come with Stanley me. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of Stanley clutched the bucket. Oh, we can't even go back. And entered oh. the door on his left. Hmm. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. How many Stanley different flavor texts for bucket, bucket are there? To him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. 
And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Exactly. Was this better than the meeting room? Bucket, you have good taste. Yes, Danny thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful <laughs> the bucket turned out to be. In many more ways than one. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Danny took the door on his left yes. to go back to the meet. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead Press. to the opposite door. Bye! <laughs> Oh gosh, this is a joy. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew uh, you'd oh. find this place eventually. Whoa. Oh. Wow. You see, your friends and I are concerned. Oh god, this is intervention, Stanley. isn't it? We've come together here because we care about you. No, very the bucket saves to me. It's this bucket you're carrying around No. Everywhere. The bucket that... isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just you're not sequel real. content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. No. Classic characters from the first game, like the adventure no. line and the broom closet. No. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not no. this bucket that they've never seen before. New yes, bucket new character. Gave you Best, bucket, better than any of you. Too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. No. Mr. Bucket? No. Broom Closet, or did you, or did you, Broom Closet, you went all to the trouble just to come here and just do this all f Are you serious? You want me to leave Mr. Bucket behind? Really? Fine, I'll go by your own wind. The Bucket comes with me. Look well. at that line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Yeah. It's not the same. Now that Bucket's here, he's only all I have left. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Yep, even Don't walking you backwards. All those great jokes from the original dialogue. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's oh do it my. for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. Exactly. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. Brand new. This is the Bucket Destroyer. What? I think it'll make uh -uh. a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it <sighs> also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Mr. Bucket's main rival. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't Makes need things. me to spell it out for you. Yes. D E S T R O Say goodbye y to the bucket. E -R -S. And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. <sighs> I'm sorry about this, Mr. Bucket, but maybe they've been they're onto something. Maybe they're onto something. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character what? with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon <laughs> of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Okay, I'll turn see, this off. If you were to really explore the bucket destroyer, you would see uh, that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with You would feed, a, feed him what he wants. Really like ten personality traits. Ten personality traits. Trades. What's gonna stop him from being brutal to everyone? We gotta go. Room closet, certainly not. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic standard terrible characters like the adventure. The bucket destroyer has been eating the adventure line. Haven't you seen it leading all the way to it? It's already gone. He's way too long ago. The fan, those are fans of mine. Is that all what you really wanted me to do? <laughs> oh my god! The bucket destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell <laughs> such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. Goodbye From forever. The in time that you were here, you were. Magnificent. 
Yeah, I hate him. I start my my buddy. Oh my god, none of this gets old. Now I want to go back and destroy oh, Bucket for once and for all. <gasps> Wait. No. This well, yes, the right office. office uh, Mr. Bucket, I can take him to the glitch. The confusion and the chaos all seem to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Mr. Bucket, I want you to see this cool thing that I found. It's the latest fad called breaking the game. Yes. Whispered the bucket <laughs> into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. Mm -hmm. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. I can reveal your Cthulhu god form? The began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, <laughs> desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein. Ah, it's a devil. Sadness and regret. The demon. And the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay. If uh, only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption. Determination. And its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man. To manifest justice where none existed. The Dark Ages. The bittersweet reality of time. To see one's dreams and wishes met halfway. Meted out in parcels like charity. And abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps. The bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps. Perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. <laughs> this was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? <laughs> he screamed. You're a bucket! Oh my. To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. Not a distant brow. No. Said the bucket. No. Not since the evil wizard Gamhorata <laughs> first Gamhorata. Me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of. No! <laughs> Sam screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! <laughs> Because As Stan spray. screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, what? transforming uh. into a mighty beast of untold power. It's, uh, its, it's fangs it's... glistening like. <laughs> what? Well, like just a grand like hero journey, fighting up the. God, no, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. But Thank God that you wasn't already had me. all twelve emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Me. Otherwise, yeah. we would have I'm a hero. overwhelmed yeah. by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. Oh. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling <laughs> with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. Oh my <laughs> Oh boy. Well, I'm assuming like I went through the whole like last ending, and it's all the same. So I guess we need to do some back like we need to get some new stuff. We need to hold the bucket and stuff like that to get to newer endings and more content. Like I'll probably skip around just to see those different endings. And if there's any other ones I should actually look through, uh, tell me down in the in the comments and the replies because like I haven't seen anything of the game online, even though it's the second one. I'll give this some more time. I can only imagine, like, there's only, like, there's not too many endings, the new endings based on it, so literally there's, like, small flavor text. Or maybe complete wrong, there's some new stuff, like, going down, like, the the, like, the red the red button with a bucket, and getting an intervention talk with the, <laughs> about how the bucket everywhere we go, which I still need to go back and actually feed the bucket into. I'll do that next time. If there's anything other endings like that which you need to look out for, or should be looking out for, please let me down below, as this game is having really a fun time into my heart and the star ranking is going up it really truly has but we'll go down this infinite rabbit hole next time so what a fun time watching as i am playing this hope to see you next time what time may be and i'll hope a fantastic day